Good morning, everyone. Gonna do a little walk and talk today. We are out here at Kings Island Amusement Park. Let's check out some things. Just gonna have a nice, lazy day here at Kings Island. Utilize my membership, maybe get some food. Check out some different things. Check out some of the sights. Look around, talk about some things. It's been a, been a very hot day to start off everything. It is 92 degrees out here. Luckily it's overcast though, so it's not as bad as it could be, but it's pretty warm. And I gotta say the park is pretty empty here. Monday, July 7th, 2024. Couldn't ask for a better day as far as crowd levels. Over here at Kings Island Theater, it's like they got this new bubble show going on. Gazillion bubble show, gazillion bubbles. Okay, June 15th to July 21st, times are one, three, and 5 p.m. No shows on Thursday. They have a Starbucks. I haven't had any coffee, so we're gonna have to get a coffee here before we start into the big chat here, the coffee rant, coffee ranting at Kings Island. Not much to rant about, it is very beautiful. All the roller coasters look like they're working. I've already met a few of you guys out here that know us from the channel. Pretty awesome. Nice to meet everybody. Walking down International Street here. Got the little little fountain here. Little, not little. Here's the Eiffel Tower. Love the Eiffel Tower. Might actually, I don't know, might go up there later. First, gotta make a quick pit stop. I do plan on trying a lot of treats here today. Not here at Starbucks, we're gonna try some Kings Island exclusive treats. I have to say these are pretty good. I have had this iced lemon loaf here before. That is really good. Also, since we are a, a season pass holder, we get a bit of a discount on all this stuff, even here at Starbucks. Already utilizing our season pass here to where I saved. It was 501 for the coffee here, but with my discount, I got it for $4.50. So save a little bit. You also save on merchandise, which is pretty awesome. Because of the heat, I will also be utilizing any air conditioned building I can find. They are a little crowded here at Starbucks, but there's a couple places as I walk around, I'm gonna try and point them out where if you come here, you may wanna consider taking some notes. Uh, there's a big place called the Fest House where you can get some different food. I have the food option on my pass so I get a free meal like every few hours don't know how long I'm gonna be here but I am meeting a lot of my family up here later which we're gonna do some rides I'm gonna hang out with uh, my nieces and my aunt and uncle and cousin and it's gonna be a good old time so I would come out here and just chat for a while hang out with you guys see what's going on up here at the big Kings Island probably hang out mostly up toward the front check out some of the different things but I gotta say this coffee is good and strong, which is good because I need it. Couple updates with me and Jessica. We are putting together our Q&A video. I know some people have been asking about that. Just kind of letting it hang on for the uh, community post that we had up, just so a lot of people had more of an opportunity to leave questions, how it's gonna work. We're gonna take a select, a select few questions once we feel comfortable answering and Jessica's kind of been going over those. Also, you may ask why she's not here with me. Jessica's working, so, you know, she, she wanted to come up, but after she got off, I don't think she would have really had the energy for one, because it's a lot of walking in this place. I think we picked a really good day to come to Kings Island here. I won't stay in this area for too long because I know this is gonna be really loud in the background, plus they have music playing up all up and down International Street here. It's a really neat place, though just to visit on International Street, all kinds of different treats. Thank you to everyone who keeps coming up to us here at Kings Island. I did not realize how many people would be up here that know us from the channel. I mean, we've met like four or five of you today. Hello to you guys. Um, it's great. It's absolutely wonderful. Got some cool music. It's very jazzy, very jazzy music. I know some people have been kind of complaining about it. I like it. One awesome thing that they have here at Kings Island is Auntie Anne's, and I think I'm gonna start off there. I'm getting pretty hungry. Nothing uh, satisfies hunger like Auntie Anne's pretzels. Not gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna be eating with family later, so I don't wanna get too much. It's gonna get something to snack on, something to hold me up. Okay, guys, well, sad news. They didn't have the little hot dogs. Uh, they said you have to go over to Rivertown, which 
Rivertown is over by like the Beast. If you're familiar with Kings Island, the Beast is like the biggest wooden roller coaster in the world. It is huge. Uh, and they have, um, used to be the fastest and the tallest. Now it's just the longest. But uh, yeah, so it's over by that way where you can get the little hot dogs. I'm not gonna walk all the way over there. Probably gonna go in the Fest House here. Maybe get a slice of pizza. As we come off International Street over here on the left, you can really ask anybody. Probably the best way to find it. But in here, it's like, uh, it's funny because it's like a German building, but there's no real German food in here. Uh, at least no like sauerkraut or sausages or anything like that. They got like chicken tenders. I think they got some hamburgers. There used to be a Panda Express in here. A lot of people were complaining about that because the portion sizes have shrunk. Same with everything these days. But they also have La Rosa's Pizza in here, which you guys know I love my La Rosa's. This place is dead. There's not many people here at all. I will say I just saw a sign right here for Panda Express right there. So they do have it. I gotta say that Panda Express sounds pretty good. Now I have the dining plan that me and Jessica pay for for the year. It's been well worth it. That's another nice thing I like about doing our vlogs up here. I might as well take advantage of that. You know, because to get a free, it's basically free at this point. We've, for the meals that we've had here at Kings Island, we've definitely gotten our money's worth. As soon as we come in here, over here to the left, they have La Rosa's Pizza, and then they have the main stage where they perform different shows. So you get a show while you sit in here and eat. You can just walk in too, it's no extra cost. They also have Panda Express over here. But yeah, it's uh, new to me. I, I'm not really sure what the show is this year, but it looks pretty cool. See Dolly Parton up there. The best thing about in here is there's usually always seating, always seating. I don't know if I'm gonna eat right now or not. I might just get some fries or something. I don't wanna really, I think my family's gonna be here in about an hour. I'm not gonna film them or anything, but I might do some rides and stuff with the kids. Um, so yeah, just gonna hang out here for a little while. Not sure how long this vlog is gonna be, but hey, you know, just hanging out with you guys, having fun. Uh, we even ran into some more people up here. It's unbelievable how many people know us uh, from the channel up here. Not, not too unbelievable, because this is what we used to do. And I'm sure, you know, these, these are more like uh, happy kind of laid back videos, uh, more family friendly uh, that we try to do here on the channel. But I don't know, that pizza's smelling pretty good. I might have to get a slice, but it's also nice here. Plenty of air conditioning out of the sun. Uh, it's 92 degrees here. We just had a thing on the TV that 92 degrees. So it is pretty hot. So I opted to just get a salad here. Looked pretty good. Wanted to get something light here because we're probably gonna have dinner up here with the family and everything here in a little while. So also I didn't want to use my dining credit on my pass, uh, which we get a dining credit like every four hours. So could have used it, but I didn't think I could really eat that much food. They also have an anti-pasta, anti-pasta, which is like three times as big as this which you can use on the dining plan. But this was $5.99 plus. I got a little bit of a discount with my annual pass. This isn't included on that, but I saved like uh, almost a dollar. Always good to test out some of these new things. I gotta say, not only for the price is this well worth it, but man, I'm not even like a third of the way through this and I'm getting stuffed. Something me and Jessica can split. She would love a salad. Everything's fresh. Everything's fresh cut, tomatoes are good, olives are good, onions are good. Win-win, I did get the Italian dressing. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. But I'll tell you what, that's a pretty big meal for $5. You could easily split this with somebody else. All right, well we just finished maybe the best salad I've ever had in my life. That salad was delicious. Fresh greens, everything was fresh as we went over before fantastic delicious like i was thinking like has there been a salad at least not in years so right there where you get the pizza inside the little cabinet there they've got these salads that are just fantastic i don't know how anybody can eat the antipasto salad it's like i said it's like three times that big two people could have easily easily eaten that salad and i finished it off i did i, I got it done got it done but i'll tell you what wasn't easy. One thing, we have a bit of an update here that I wanted to go over with you guys. Me and Jessica are back looking for a house. We were never really not looking. 
but I don't know. It's like with the prices and everything, it's like you really got to kind of like weigh out the options because housing prices have gotten ridiculous. Insurance is ridiculous. Property taxes are ridiculous. So, you know, it's like, but we are back looking. I know there were a lot of people that were leaving us emails and stuff with some different ideas. Uh, we've got some things planned. You know, we'll have to see how it goes and everything, but we are in the process of looking for a house. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't know, um, but we got things in place, things that we're planning. Hopefully, hopefully something happens. If not, then we'll just continue to wait. Either way, we're not rushing. We're just kind of back on the market. Now I do use that term loosely as we do have some things coming up. We got some projects coming up. Me and Jessica are gonna be both involved in some of these projects. It does involve doing some traveling. Pretty excited to get that underway. Uh, we got some other things coming up too. I'm gonna be visiting some other places. Don't really wanna do any spoilers or anything or give anything away, but I do have some other things planned. Some different travels, some places we have never been before. So that'll be fun. Look at this. Got the Banshee roller coaster here behind me. Uh, probably not gonna ride that today. I don't know. I, I plan on doing a lot of chilling, talking with you guys, eating some snacks, having fun, life stories, a life vlog day, as you may. But I gotta say, pretty awesome day here at Kings Island. It does seem like it's packing up a little bit here, so we'll just have to see. Uh, family should be here very shortly. I'm gonna meet up with them and probably in between, you know, kind of going off on my own on some different things. So we'll, we'll catch up as we go throughout the day here. Check out this craziness. Not me, buddy. Oh, here we got Fancy going up the hill here. Thought we'd check it out for a second. Probably don't want to ride this after a big old meal. It's pretty cool. They also got this new barrel ride here. Kind of a spinny... Kind of like the teacups at Disney World, if you ever done those. That's what that ride's sort of like. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? There they go. That is, that is a crazy ride. This place is definitely starting to pick up here. I'm actually going to go meet my family over here in Old Coney, which is kind of like it's a lot of the old Coney Island rides that they moved to Kings Island here years ago. But I'm going to go say hi to them. Good old Coney barbecue up here. You've been watching the videos for a while. You know that is my favorite place to eat here at Kings Island. Not gonna eat there today. Actually, I don't know. If the family decides that's what they want, I might have to give me some hush puppies, maybe a pulled pork sandwich. We'll see what happens, but I gotta say, even with the sun out, I know it's like 90 something degrees out here, but the humidity is really not too bad. I there's a nice breeze. Love it up here. We're, you know, we're about 30. Hello. <laughs> 30 minutes uh, north of Cincinnati here. So yeah, I feel like the wind's a little better up here. Less less trees, more flat. So you get a little bit more of a breeze, I think. Got the big carousel over here, just underneath the Eiffel Tower. Not sure if I'm gonna go up there today. I saw it before. There's a pretty long line for it over there. That is one thing. I'm not really in the mood for any long lines today. I wanted to point out here though, you ever need to get in the shade, there is a lot of shaded areas. They got this entire like picnic area over here, just kind of sits off the, you know, a lot of people don't know these things. On a day like today, it's good to know where the breeze is. I'll tell you what. So back to some of the housing things. Yes, me and Jessica are looking for a house in some of the Cincinnati area. Doesn't necessarily have to be in the city limits, but it does kind of have to be uh, inside close close to family and friends we've we've come to that decision maybe in the future you know maybe get something in Florida I know we had a longtime viewer uh, talk about Tennessee uh, and he, he may know some things if we wanted to do Tennessee I don't know don't know not really wanting to move down that far like I said we want to be kind of close to family and friends but out far enough to where we're not like where we can high-five our neighbor you know what I mean I guess a lot of people that live in Cincinnati know that Monday is a good day to come. Good day to come to Kings Island here. Uh, just after a holiday weekend, probably a lot of people back from vacation and stuff, but not wanting to do nothing on Monday or maybe back out at work. 
I don't know, but for whatever reason, it's not very crowded here today. It's absolutely gorgeous. All kinds of shaded areas, and I really do got to try and find them because it's, uh, even though the humidity is not too bad, 92 degrees is 92 degrees. My family has arrived, and my aunt and my two nieces rode the Scrambler here. It was really cool seeing them on the Scrambler. They're off to ride Banshee right now. My, uh, and, uh, my, my cousin, he's about to jump on Banshee as well. And he gets motion sickness, but he's, he took Dremenine or Dremenine, uh, and it really helps him. He can do roller coasters on that. So, uh, not, not going to do any roller coasters right now. I see Diamondback going up right now. I, I may do that one later. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to come back here and chat with you guys for a couple minutes while they're off doing that. Uh, you're not allowed to film on any of the ride, any of the roller coasters here. I don't know if you can use a GoPro. I'm not really sure. Maybe if it's like attached to your wrist or your chest or something. I, I don't really know. I have no idea. I know that you're not allowed to uh, take a camera on a roller coaster. So I wouldn't want to anyway. Some of these roller coasters are absolutely nuts, uh, and I'd be too afraid I'd drop it. I just ran into a couple more of you guys. I'll tell you what, I, you know, I know our, our videos at Kings Island have done very well in the past, especially like our Halloween and Christmas ones, the different Winterfest and stuff like that. But I didn't expect so many people that know us from the channel to be out here today. If you do come to Kings Island and you're curious where the Skyline Chili is, because they don't have it up front anymore, where Grain and Grill is, is where Skyline used to be. This one has always been here too. I know a lot of people were complaining about that because they want to come in and get their Skyline Chili. It's right here next to the Racer roller coaster and Orion, Kings Island's Giga Coaster. Thought we would come in and check out some of the Area 72, which is the Flight of Fear Outer Limits and Orion. And it looks like Orion is stuck. Looks like the ride has come to a halt. See him up there? Got the one train there, and then we got one that's going up the hill that's stuck there as well. Oh boy. Wanted to come a little closer here to see what was going on. They are definitely stuck. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. They're all waving at us. Oh, that stinks, guys. I'll tell you what. See there? stuck on that part coming back in and these guys are stuck going up the hill oh goodness that is the one thing i always fear about these roller coasters is getting stuck on them at least they're closer to the entrance of the ride than being all the way at the top of the hill and then having to walk down i don't know it looks like they may actually have to evacuate on that i remember when i was younger i got stuck on the beast for about 45 minutes but eventually it ended up going I've never actually had to evacuate off a ride at Kings Island. We did at Disney World one time. Uh, I believe it was the Frozen ride. We had to evacuate off of it, but didn't have to didn't have to do that on the Beast here. But luckily, I'll tell you what, it's, I would hate I would hate to uh, have to evacuate off one of these roller coasters. It's crazy that. Hey, they, it's they, hey guys! It's, it's always nice meeting fans. Thank you to everyone who has come up and said hello today really means a lot so as i'm heading back over here to catch up with the family so something interesting i forgot to say earlier so a kid probably 13 14 years old and maybe his brother they kind of looked alike came up and said my mom watches your channel and you have saved her so much money so it must be something that they're always talking about so i guess people from all over are seeing us from different videos which is which is what we want too cool. Well, I am back home, guys. I'll tell you what, it feels good to be home. Boy, it was crowded. It got really crowded. If you're going up there to Kings Island in Mason, Ohio, I would uh, get there early. Monday through Thursday. Don't go on the weekends uh, because the weekends are going to be very packed. But Monday through Thursday, early. If you get there early, you know, you can... There were My uh, nieces were literally walking on rides. I mean, it was really nice. And then as it uh, progressed, about 5 o'clock... Got to about 5 o'clock, and it got really slam-packed. So keep that in mind. Um, it was really nice to meet everybody up there. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hello. I met so many of you guys up there today. Uh, it was it was really cool. It was very, very heartwarming. Um, thank you for being part of, of our channel here for so many years. There were some people who've been watching us 
up there for years. Uh, some people were really excited. They finally got to meet us. It got to meet me at Kings Island. Unfortunately, Jess wasn't able to come. Um, but we had a lot of fun. Had fun with the family. I did end up getting just a couple slices of pizza. Uh, my aunt and uncle, they got that same salad that you saw me eat earlier. That was delicious. I, I convinced them. I was like, hey, it's like five bucks. You know, I mean, it's a good deal. And, uh, you know, it's just really awesome. Really awesome meeting a lot of you guys up there. It, it you know... All of your guys' comments and everything are the motivation that gets me up in the morning to do these videos each and every day. And thank you all so much for watching us each and every day, no matter what we do. You know, I, I try to cover a lot of things on this channel, whether it's save people money on food in the grocery stores or whether it's just entertaining, right? Or just talking about our lives. You know, I, I the other day we did a like a walk and talk video and we got such a good response from that. I'm going to try and do more of those. Let us know down in the comments if you have if you enjoyed the walk and talk throughout Kings Island today. You know, I wasn't really making it about Kings Island. I was just making it about, you know, us just hanging out, walking down International Street, uh, you know, showing just some of the things that really, I mean, that's what me and Jess do. We don't really do a lot of rides. I mean, I'll do some roller coasters. Jess will do some roller coasters sometimes. But really, we just walk and, you know, do treats. I was going to stop by Sweet Spot, right? That's their, their, like, candy store. I usually do that on my way out because we get it to go. But today, the line, when I got ready to go, it was so crowded. So crowded, it was ridiculous. Like, the line was out the door. It was out the door. And I was like, yeah, I could have waited. But it was like, you know, in the heat and everything, got up to, it said 100 degrees in my car. And then I don't usually count that. I wait until after I've after you take off because the heat in the car can be really hot but as i was on the highway like 10 minutes later with the ac on and everything it was saying 94 degrees and i'll tell you what it was it was really hot really hot i didn't want to be carrying any like chocolate or something like that to the car and then just ha it had melt you know on the way but i do recommend if you ever go to king's island go to the sweet spot little it's off to the right as soon as you walk in the main gate Everything there is fantastic. They make a lot of that stuff from scratch. The fudge is awesome. All the little peanut butter cup things, and or what do they call it? Buckeyes. Buckeyes, those are really good. They're a little pricey, but you get what you pay for on these guys. I mean, they are fantastic. Plus, people are making them. You know, it, it's really cool. Really cool. Kings Island is great. I really love doing this little walk and talk with you guys today. Again, let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of these. It's kind of fun to just, you know, or it's kind of, you know, it's nice just kind of walking and chatting with you guys on more of a personal video vlog level, if that makes any sense. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. I'll have something else out here for you tomorrow, so stick around. With all that being said, I'm out, and always remember the adventure is out there.